Welcome to the FANS Hearty Winter School on the neural control of innate and instinctive behaviors, where we're going to debate the use of innate behaviors as a model system for systems neuroscience. It's happening in a beautiful mountain, snowy mountain, and we have uh, uh, to bring experts from uh, innate behavior end and uh, the frontiers in the technology development and uh, many students who are passionate and exciting and are ready to go and uh, crack the codes for the innate behaviors. I'm Tiago Branco. I am a um, group leader at the Sainsbury Welcome Center for um, Neural Circuits and Behavior at University College London, uh, where I work uh, with escape behavior and trying to understand how the brain represents the world and uses those, those representations to control escape behavior. I'm Dayu Lin. I'm from uh, Neuroscience Institute, NYU. I'm a social professor. My lab works on, on the neural circuits of innate social behaviors, particularly aggression. I think it's a great point in time uh, in, in systems neuroscience to, to, to ask the question of what are the uh, behavior paradigms that we should be using to, uh, to understand how the brain works. And there's a, a very large um, emphasis on, on, on learned behaviors, on learned paradigms, but there's also the realization that uh, the behavior is more complicated than that. I mean, we've known this for a very long time. And I think it's timely to ask the question, can innate behaviors offer anything to uh, the, the understanding of how the brain uses information, both externally and internally, to, to, to drive behavior. And I think it's, it's, it's exciting to discuss this, to debate this, and perhaps inspiring a generation of students to, to consider these questions and to, to perhaps go and follow them in, in their own research programs. I couldn't agree more with what Tiago just said. So when Tiago asked me to co-organize the meeting, I feel privileged to be part of it. I think school is great because it's, it, it's small, there's, a, there's about 40 students and, and 12, 13 faculty and we all basically hang around uh, for, for the entire week and we all get to know each other very well and there's a lot of time for discussion. That's probably the best thing about this school is having a, a lot of time for interaction and discussion in a really uh, informal setting and that has really uh, generated uh, discussions at many, many levels from uh, very highly intellectual to very practical, which I think uh, the students have benefited a lot because uh, it's, it's an environment where they think they, they feel, I think, that they can ask anything and they can get, uh, they spend a lot of contact time with, with senior faculty that I think it's hard to get otherwise. I think that's the best thing for me. Yeah, I think the school is uh, fantastic and I'm um, particularly excited to have the opportunity um, to um, kind of select, involving the selection um, process in terms of uh, what kind of a topic uh, that we will be focusing on, on how to discuss. I think uh, with the modern era and exposure of the tools, uh, there are actually uh, a, a huge amount of interest in studying uh, innate behaviors. Um, but at the same time, I think um, we are not really uh, sometimes uh, perhaps uh, using the most um, best behavior paradigms out there. Um, so all the best tools out there, I think the goal of the school is um, to make the next generation at least uh, be aware and uh, um, have the network um, to understand uh, what is possible to be down there. So, and, uh, and uh, just all these debates and the questions that um, with, the, uh, with the passion and enthusiasm in the rooms, um, I think um, that conveys, uh, I feel, a very exciting moment that we are, opportunity we're having right now. One of the goals is also to uh, demonstrate the, um, or expose the, uh, the variety of different uh, behaviors that uh, innate behaviors and it, it, not only the variety but but why we think they are interesting and why we think they are interesting models uh, for for systems neuroscience and I think that that has uh, again also that has been reflected in in the range of, of, of speakers that uh, we we have selected and the topics that we have discussed so we um, believe that we have an opportunity uh, to actually and uh, using rigorous tools to um, be able to really have a rich, deep understanding um, in this, um, this type of behaviors, which is uh, the 
has robustness in it and is a logical relevance. So I think from that particular angle, we have uh, the invited faculties who are the experts um, for uh, using the modern tools to uh, understanding those circuits and uh, as well as um, the experts who are at the frontier of uh, uh, developing next generation of tools, uh, which allows us to, most importantly, on um, how to actually understanding the behavior and um, um, of, of those behaviors, of those instinctive behaviors, which by its nature has uh, some, um, is a bit harder to control in comparison to some other behaviors um, that have been studied for decades. So, um, and uh, we also, the other goal of the school is uh, to um, bring in a variety of the model organisms um, so that um, we are aware of uh, we should be using these uh, comparative strategies and uh, using the best models and not just uh, restrict ourselves uh, to one of the few things that's kind of most prevalent right now. Yes, exactly. So I agree. I think one of the things that we strive to do is to uh, bring together people who work on a diversity of model organisms to emphasize the point that, uh, to, to our ask the questions of what can we learn from looking at different model organisms. Um, and so I think our program reflects that. Uh, we also try to cover a, a variety of, the, of different behaviors, from social behaviors, defensive, uh, feeding behaviors, sexual behaviors. Uh, to ask what do they have in common, what, uh, what, uh, what are the differences, what are the circuits that, uh, the similarities and the differences in the circuits that control them. Uh, and, but we also, I think, also invited people who don't necessarily work uh, in innate behaviors per se, but use, work on behaviors which are natural behaviors, behaviors that animals display in uh, their natural environments in the wild. Uh, and I think that has been very good because we can ask the question of what, what components of the behavior are innate, are, are learned, and especially, and I think that's one of the most interesting things that we can ask is how do these two components, learned and innate, interact together to shape behavior uh, that is adaptive to, to natural environments. And this is one of the goals that we wanted to, 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 to bring together. I think that one of the most uh, important goals of the school is to debate concepts and, and, and ideas. Uh, this is, the, the, and we've organized a, a series of, uh, I think, uh, sessions where, which, uh, where uh, the students could ask questions to the lecturers and the lecturers also proposed different questions. And that really generated a lot of very interesting high level debate where uh, we could bring together a variety of different uh, opinions uh, and we really and try to see if we could converge into definitions, conceptual definitions, ways and approaches to tackle certain questions. And I think that really was one of the goals that we wanted to to uh, to work for in the school. Uh, and I think our choice of of speakers and also the, the choice of students coming from a real a, a wide variety of. Uh, um, research uh, and research backgrounds and uh, research programs uh, has, has really uh, worked uh, in, in that regard. Um. Yeah, I think we, um, we hope to, this will be sort of a one of the provocative and eye-opening experience um, for the students who um, kind of become aware of um, the, the the tools out there at the same time um, has the ability and the confidence to question some of the well-established concepts, for example. And uh, we hope that when the students come back, they will, um, when they carry out their own research, they will have the confidence to questioning the dogmas and uh, to be able to um, bring those new ideas, injecting those new ideas um, into their um, own field when they ask questions for for the next decades to come. We hope that this school uh, has inspired the students to go back to their labs and design new exciting experiments, perhaps using components of instinctive behaviors that will help us to understand how the brain works. <laughs>